Hello everybody, uh, you may have seen my last video about the XL Burst, just giving it a review how to set it all up. I forgot to mention quite a cool trick that you can do with it. So when you're setting the hammer, if you don't set it on the catch, so if you push it up and away from the catch, and then put the pin through, Like so, when you pull the pin, the hammer falls and the grenade will go off. So uh, that's quite a handy way of saying, setting trip wires up. And because it's a green gas, green gas or propane grenade, sound distraction device, um, it's perfectly safe to do so. It's not like anyone's going to accidentally tread on it and they're going to get serious burns. All it is is they're going to be meant to jump. So other than the hammer bit, everything else just sets up exactly the same. You've pressed it in to reset the fill valve, the uh, reservoir for the gas. And you're going to put your gas into it. You're going to put your disc across the end. I'm not going to do it, just because uh, confined space and I sort of value my hearing. So it's still going to go with a bit of a poof and a bang, but it just won't be as loud. Because, as I say, the hammer isn't sat on the catch this time when I pull the trigger. Sorry, pull the pin. So this is the same as someone, you've tied a bit of string to it across a doorway and someone's run straight through it. It's still going to go bang. So that's going to blow on the seal, it's going to have made a nice bang, and whoever's just run through that door is dead. And then we'll have to go back to respawn. So it's just another little nifty trick that the XL Burst has up its sleeve. It's all about how you set it up. And there's, no, there's plenty of different scenarios and situations that you can use them in. That's just another one other than throwing it. So. Thank you for watching the video, just some other tips and tricks that I've thought up along the way, just letting you all know about it. So thank you for watching.